How many times did he pedal up this this week? I think today was either my sixth or my seventh yeah. this morning. I worked it out. It's 5,000 feet a day for yeah, it's not eight. Yeah, 500 feet a lap. Yeah. So if I mean, if we're out here 10 days, that's that's 50 grand in 10 days. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> Okay, so we've got five bikes in this category. We're at the Specialized New Stump Jumper 29, the S-Works version. We have the Kona Process 29. The new Yeti SB150. The new Trek Remedy. And the Santa Cruz Bronson. So that's two bikes, 27.5 inch wheels, three with 29, and kind of range travels from 140 to 153 millimeters of travel. Yeah, there's it's quite a wide spectrum. Like you say, they all sit in that sort of like trail, all mountainy, light enduro category. <laughs> <laughs> what is it though? Seriously, they all sit across the spectrum, but they're all they're all so different. If we were all going to walk in a store, I don't know if we'd pick the same bike. But no, I don't I'm think sure we would. wouldn't. Probably I wouldn't not. pick no. the same bike as you. you no. I, mean, I think one. it'd be <laughs> certainly dependent on where we live, too. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We live in a similar spot, but you live in a different place. Yeah, I'm on the East Coast. Yeah. Let's yeah. drink yeah. moonshine and talk weird. Yeah, so you ride different bikes. Grits. 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 Liver mush. Hush puppies. NASCAR. Oh, you know about hush puppies I know about it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's deep fried bread. Of course I know about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll mail you some. <laughs> yeah. Pick two. Top two. Top two. One that I didn't expect that I would like is the Remedy really like that bike. I mean, I've been sold on 29 inch wheels for several years now, but the Remedy's different. It's really good. The other bike I would pick is the SB150. Where in North Carolina do you need an SB150? But don't you feel like you'd be better served by being on a bike that is maybe slightly steeper or slightly less deep feeling? That SB150 pedals really, really well, mm -hmm. and it still can cut loose on the downhills. I would agree with you on the Trek. I definitely am biased towards 29 inch wheels. That, that Remedy <coughs> shows up. It's got 27 and a half inch wheels. It's got these big stupid tires so like on it. It's like two sixes, right? Yeah, like I'm not about that life. I got on that bike and it blew me away. Yeah, it that's still the surprise It still really well. It, and it's super yeah. nimble, that's the thing. Like all of the bikes, you're right. Like that Yeti, that SB150, it's slack, but you can get it up stuff. The Remedy, it goes up all the stuff with way less effort and it feels light Absolutely. and then on the way back down it's nimble and toss it it's around. It's easy to ride. The effort that you have to put into putting that bike in a line is far less than a lot of other bikes. And then also the, the process. Yeah. The outstanding quality of the bike would be how solid it feels. Like the frame is f***ing stiff. Someone like myself, I don't want a bike that's just like a big gushy couch. I don't like that. I think a lot of people do, and that's great. It is uh, like a bigger travel bike, but at the same time, it's it rides high in its travel, and it's kind of sporty feeling, and it's really playful. Uh, more so than the Bronson by far. I would go faster on the Bronson. Mm -hmm. I yeah. don't care. That's right. Well, the yeah. process climbs really well, too. Yeah, better than the Bronson. And it has short chain yeah. stays, too, which isn't for everybody, but you like the manual and goof off and kind of skid and drift, and that yeah. bike is easy just to let the back end kick loose. That Bronson would be on my list. I just like how it has that deep feeling. You get in rough stuff, you can go super fast, but it still has Really good cornering and just as an all-rounder for where I live, kind of rowdy terrain, and I'm definitely more biased towards the downs. I can still climb. And then that SB150, that geometry looks pretty ideal. Mm -hmm. Kind of exactly what I'd want. It's getting longer and slacker. So we got the top two bikes that you guys would pick, but what about the bike that didn't really work as well as you thought, the one that didn't impress you? I hate to say it, but possibly the stump trumpet. <sighs> that's, that's the dirt. That's why we're here. No, we're here because we have to film. <laughs> it's a good bike. It's got a lot of cool features. You know, it's got the swap box. The other bikes that we have in this category right now are a step beyond that mm -hmm. as far as how well they handle and how well they ride. Yeah, the bike almost doesn't fit in here. They do have that Evo version, which we have our hands on now. And we spend some time Yeah, I'm that, excited so. to see how that handles. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the hard thing about what we're doing here because there aren't really any bad bikes, but they you have to pick the right one for what you're going to ride, how you ride. How about you? you got your What's your fifth choice? <sighs> Probably the Bronson, to be honest with you. <laughs> it just felt like a big, gooey, ultra-forgiving bike to me, and it didn't really have any traits that I was like, 
blown away by. Like I can go pretty quick on it, I'm sure. Um, quicker than on a couple of the other bikes, definitely. It always felt like I was using too much of the travel. I didn't like the Storm Jumper, but I, I think a lot of people will. I, I'm, I'm liking it more and more. I didn't at first, except the color. I'm not a real big fan of that. I think the the bike that I would like to spend more time on, though, to learn a little bit more about would be that SP150. Mm, I agree. That kind of I feel like that bike is the most almost maybe forward thinking, the geometry is kind of the next step. And I think that's one of the big differentiations between that and the Specialized. You know, the Stump Jumper, I think, has a reach of what, 445 for the medium? Mm -hmm. And you know, the Yeti's. That's a large, actually. It's a oh, 445, 445 for a large. For a large. Yeti's okay. 480 at a large. Right. So that's like that's you know, huge. two different it's sizes. It's a lot different. Them. All right, y'all. That's our thoughts on the five bikes we had in the Aggressive Trail, Enduro, whatever we're going to call it these days category. Uh, thanks for checking it out, listening, and yeah, have fun. Go ride your bike. Let's go get your food done. Have fun going around your bike. It's a novel concept, you know. <laughs>